Here with Phantom Story, John Fritchie. John, you, got, you have your first experience with the Fall Classic coming up this week. What's it going to be like going up there, playing against three of the USHL teams, and be able to get to see all of them in action at some point? Um, I definitely think it's going to be a great experience just to see, because it's, I mean, it's everyone playing at their best. I mean, it's the best tournament, best junior tournament in the world. And I think everyone's going to be competing to their best abilities to, uh, I mean, to show that they they have what it takes to be in, on a team. But, I mean, for half the kids, it's still a tryout. I mean, for everyone, it's still a tryout. So there's always a possibility they're going to get cut, so everyone's going to be out there showing exactly what they got. On a personal level, you know, the Fall Classic is an opportunity to kind of showcase yourself a little bit and get some looks from scouts from college and the NHL and all different things like that. So on a personal level, what's that going to be like, being able to play in front of all those people? Um, it's definitely going to be great. I mean, I'm obviously without a college commitment, and that's my main goal, to get a college commitment. And I just need to focus on just to make sure to play my game because a lot of kids go out there and just try to do too much because they want to impress everyone. And I just got to make sure I stay to my game, go out there and do all the little things to help the team out and get energy for the team. And finally, going up to Sioux City, what are the expectations going into the Fall Classic? What are you guys looking to get out of it? Um, we're def definitely going to go on a field. I mean, we're here to uh, pretty much show the team, show all the teams that we're serious this year, right out of the get-go. We're going to go out there and we're going to compete and we're not going to let down. I mean, even if we lose, we're going to leave the ice, leaving everything on the ice. Here with Phantom Story, JT Stenglein. JT, your first experience at the Fall Classic coming up. What are you looking to get out of the whole experience? Really just go, really looking to go out there and show my stuff and then play well as a team and hopefully get some wins out there. First time the team's going to take a big road trip like this, 16-hour bus ride. You guys have three straight games against tough USHL teams. Besides playing those three teams, you get to see all the other teams in action at some point during the Classic. What's that going to be like to kind of expose the whole team to the environment of the USHL? Well, it's definitely going to be a grind. It's our first weekend, really, as a team. And we're going to be able to go out there, get a long road trip, and really experience what the USHL is really like and what kind of get a preview of the rest of the season is going to be like. And it's really going to be a good opportunity for us to see how we stand and set up the tone for the rest of the season. You talk about getting a preview of you know what the season is going to hold and things like that. You know, what does a preview like this offer the team where you get to see most of the teams play? Well, it's definitely important to see how the other teams are, see what we need to work on. It's, it's a long season, you know, so we have to be able to make sure that we can play 60 games and still be ready to play in the playoffs and be ready to go for the whole season. Here at Phantom's head coach, Curtis Carr. Curtis, you guys are going to the Fall Classic, the first opportunity for you guys to see every team on the USHL level compete at a high level. What's that going to be like in terms of preparation for the upcoming season? I think it's going to be great. I think it gives us an idea of where uh, where we stack up and uh, looking at other teams' rosters, maybe where we need to improve and uh, maybe make some deals to make ourselves a little bit better. Three preseason games under your belt, two and one after those games. Obviously, this is going to be the highest level of competition you guys are probably going to see before the regular season starts. So what are you looking to get out of your team over the next couple of days? Uh, I just want to make sure we keep our work ethic uh, up high where it's been and uh, our physical play and uh, start to cut down on our penalties. Hopefully guys are starting to learn where that learning curve is like we talked about on Friday and uh, you know, start to get better within our systems. And then finally, on a, a more player-related level, this is the opportunity for the newer guys to really expose themselves to different scouts across you know, the NCAA level and even the NHL level. So for your players, what opportunity presents itself this coming week? Uh, they can either uh, open up a lot of doors for themselves or close some doors. And hopefully, uh, you know, they're going to open up more doors than what they close. And hopefully they're ready to go. And uh, for some of these guys, they've had uh, a lot of discussions with different programs. And uh, this is going to be some of the programs making decisions on them during this event.